Hello, we're going to um, demonstrate how to put a ring on a Roman shade using this beautiful GG0028 high lead machine, um, fully automatic, medium to heavy duty zigzag, really beautiful machine. Um, normally when we're sewing, we will have it set the way you see it here. Uh, this would have a back tack in each direction of three stitches at the beginning and the end of the seam. It would automatically trim the thread. There's other automatic features we could have turned on. But for doing a ring placement, we're going to go from sewing mode, uh, just normal stitching, to um, making a number of stitches um, in a cycle and then have it stop. We're going to go ahead and just turn these off right away. We don't need the reverses. Now we turn it here to the cycle um, stitch E. This is the one that will do a certain number of stitches in a direction. In this case, we've set it for 25. So uh, we have the automatic thread trimmer at the end. That's a very nice feature. Uh, we can also have it automatically lift the foot force if we want to. But right now I'm going to leave it so that the lifting is manual so we are in complete control ourselves. You can see the setup for it. I've put the stitch length on zero. It's in the center needle position. And it's on a little less than four for the width. That's up to you where you want to put it. And I've used this to lock it in position so it won't vibrate or change. Um, so then we go down here and we take a look at the foot and the ring. And the way we put the ring onto the uh, fabric is we locate it first. And I'm using my knee pedal to raise and lower the foot. I could be using the foot pedal, in which case it goes up very high like this. Uh, I'm going to use the knee pedal so I have a little more control. And I'm going to put this in to where the uh, ring is going to be centered in the little slot in the front of the foot here. Maybe you can see it better here. I'll come up here so you can see down in there. See where the ring is? Okay. Now, when I start sewing on this, I'm going to hold my thread off to the side. This is typical of regular sewing. Usually when we use the under trimmer, we uh, don't bother to do that. It's not necessary. But I've found that when I'm sewing rings, because the foot's up in the air on top of the ring, it doesn't pick up the stitch unless I hold it. When I hold it, it will start stitching just fine. So now I'm going to put my foot on the pedal, and I'm going to just tap the pedal, and it's going to sew all 25 stitches, and then it will stop, and it will trim the thread for us at the end. So you ready? Here we go. I'm touching the pedal now. So there's the ring sewn on. And we have the little tail here we need to trim off. Not a big deal. And we're ready to go. Now if we want to do another one, then we just keep the process going. We pull another one out. You can see I did one over here. See how nice it turned out. And um, we just keep going. One of the things I didn't do, which I'll do this time, is I'll push this button right up here. I'd forgotten to do that the last time I was pushing the pedal to make it run. This time I'm going to just tap the pedal like I was talking about, and you'll see how fast and nice it goes. I'm lowering this down so that the ring is in the center of the little opening. You see that? Okay, and now I'm going to tap the pedal this time. I have it going very slowly for this cycle. And now 25 stitches later, it's done. You cut the thread, and there's a perfect uh, ring attachment. Uh, we can make that speed very fast. Once you get more confident with it, we can make that up to maybe 2,000 stitches a minute. Right now, it's only going 250. Um, it's just a matter of not being startled when you start to sew. So now we're going to go ahead and take the trouble to um, take this little thread, and we'll snip it off right here. And then it's going to look like this when it's done. That's it.